Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. This is Palioxis, and today we're going over some tips and tricks for editing sounds in Audacity. So editing sounds is probably the easiest thing you can teach yourself. In theater work, I've been a sound designer for a show called Anne Frank and Me, where I made edits to a variety of sounds. I designed a real steam train soundtrack to play, which included like different train jerk sounds that were used to overlay. That was the best part of the show for me, was hearing my work while I was acting. It made the experience feel so real, and I put a lot of effort into the realism of the sound design. So in other words, I know what I'm doing. Today I'm going to focus on editing audio in Audacity. I'll give you a few basic starter tips. Since it's almost Halloween and I was requested to make this video, I'm going to show you just how you can design some sounds to add to your own horror skit or haunted house. First of all, I just wanted to show you a sample of what kind of sounds you can make out of Audacity. So this is actually a sample that I've created prior to filming this video. So, so I just want you to take a look and yeah. Wow. So you can notice I use some I use some different elements in there and I, I put them all together. So it's very suspense. That scream in the middle just freaked me out. I like I already listened to it for so many times and it just it totally freaked me out again. But anyways, um so like first I slowly added a repeated whistle to add suspense, then some dramatic music and some bells. After that I included like a zombie sort of growl uh that was my voice and to top it off i added the stereotypical ultimate horror sound of a woman screaming so yeah so when like the track is done it slowly fades back into reverse and it ends all the suspense next we're just gonna jump right into audacity and there's actually some effects that i want to go over with you guys so um Pretty much all you really need for this project is to know how to amplify, uh, to use uh, bass and treble. Yeah, so amplifying to make your uh, sound effects louder, uh, the bass and treble to, to add more depth. Um, your echo is pretty cool to use for dramatic purposes. The tempo and the speed can both really help with making it more dramatic as well. The pitch can be used for like high scream editing. So like if you want to make your voice sound really high and kind of ghost-like, it's great for that. Fade in and fade out, they're probably the number one thing that I would uh, say about Audacity. You really need to use fade in and fade out just because you don't want your, your sound to make uh, weird pops and just by using the, the fade in and the fade out whenever you can on every single track, you'll increase the sound quality and you'll make it 10 times better. Trust me, I know what I'm talking about. So next there's just uh, the last thing which is reverb and it's great for making your sound more lively if that makes sense. So that's pretty much all you need to know about the effects for making this horror soundtrack. So I'm just going to get right into it. I've got some samples over here that I've already collected. So this one's, the, these ones are like screaming ones. And then this one's um, chimes. And then this one's the, uh, the one that, oh no, sorry, that's a scream. Then that one must be the... Uh, the soundtrack overlay no it's not so this one must be the soundtrack overlay then which is like a, a music sort of thing anyway so i want to get right into this so the first thing i did when i uh made that sample is i was thinking zombies you gotta make it scary so something i used uh, for recording as I just thought of like what a stereotypical zombie sound is and I just utilized my voice so I'll show you kind of what you can do so you can actually just uh <sighs>
and you can sound all scary like that. But um, one thing I do want to note is uh, you should leave a fair amount of uh, empty space to pick up all the, the noise in the background. And then from there, you can actually use an effect called the, um, the noise reduction. And so you select this area that doesn't appear to have a lot of uh, sound waves going through it. You get the noise profile, then you double click and select everything, then go to effect, go back to noise re uh, reduction and press OK. And that will get rid of like simple little uh, noise things. So next you can just select this, press your delete key press your delete key and that kind of short shortens it down uh, so I'm, I'm not going to explain how to do that uh, again that's just uh, selecting and then pressing delete um, I'll just be moving on and uh, going through different things and I'm not going to explain how to do that so let's take a look what does it sound like <laughs> wow that sounds pretty scary already okay so um yeah so it's a little loud so we can actually just drop it down a bit there we go um let's add some reverb just to spice it up a little bit maybe make it a little uh deeper so normally it'll start around here for you guys just kind of drag it over maybe eight nine is probably good yeah so you'll you'll notice um i don't know if i explain this to you guys but um this is a stereo track i mean i mean you can record with a mono uh thing so that'll only record one of these but this is stereo which means it has both the right and the left ear um that you can control so if you want it to sound more on your right you just pan it all the way right and then it'll just do this top track and then same thing left it'll just do this bottom track anyways um so i'm recording with a blue snowball if you guys didn't know um it's pretty good quality uh for me at least um microphone it was very cheap it was 50 dollars. that was it done deal uh, got me what I wanted and I paid for it like three years ago. So, I mean, it's still good. It's a very good quality mic. Moving on, let's just take another look at uh, what this sounds like. <laughs> yeah, so it sounds much, much more better. Much more better. Like, what the hell am I talking about? <laughs> Anyways, um, so you can actually fade out the, the end like I was talking about utilize your fading or else it will pop trust me fade in fade out every single uh track so now that we have one zombie sound i mean you can just go on and to create as many as you'd like um let's see Okay, sounds great. Um, we'll do the same thing with the noise reduction. Get noise profile. Use it, sounds great. Um, and the fun thing is that you can actually overlay these. So like something I did in the uh, sample is I had some of the um, zombie sounds on the right and then some of them on the left ear so it kind of overlapped so i'll show you how to do that so this first one i want everything in here to be heard out of mostly your right ear so what i'll do is i'll pan it over maybe about like 70 percent to the right and then for this track down here i'm gonna make it to the left so that way when you uh, listen to it um on top of each other it'll sound completely different so let's take another listen to it sounded all right maybe we need to move it uh, back a bit and this is the thing like it's easy to edit sounds but sometimes you just got to hear what sounds better so sometimes you got to move things around and some things you got to just make work for you <laughs> oh 
Wow, that yeah, that sounds good. Um, so let's add like a hiss sort of sound, like a s or something, here. <laughs> okay, great. Let's try that. Oh, you know what? I didn't edit this at all. Did I? Yeah, no, I didn't. All right, let's add a reverb or something. Yeah. And maybe a bit of uh, bass might do. Just like a little bit. Let's say five or something. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, there we go. Um, now for this one, I'm just going to make the pitch really high. So that way, well, not really high, just like maybe to up to D. You'll notice for A sharp to D. It's very loud. Let's make it a little bit quieter. Sounds good. Um, maybe it needs a little bit of reverb. And lastly, let's just record a little bit of silence. Okay, great. Um, so this is like the kind of process that I would go when I'm making my own uh, edits. But you can do like whatever sounds good. Um, I'm just going to take this and I'm going to echo it. That's about right. Maybe let's try 0.6. Okay, we're going to kind of delete that and then we're going to fade it out real nice. Um, fade it in, don't forget. Great. Sounds good. And then you can just overlay some of the same sounds, you know? Like, you don't have to use different sounds all the time. Because this will actually sound out of the right ear now. It won't be the left ear. Um, I actually wanted this one to be to the left. So here, let's... Um, one thing uh, you can do actually too is you can select two things like that, um, two stereo tracks, and you can actually merge them together by selecting tracks and mix and render. And that way it'll be together. Great. Um, let's add like a little ah or something. Ah. All right, sounds great. Um, now it's a little bit high. Typically, you don't want it to reach the top and the bottom of these. So what I'm going to have to do is uh, amplify it and bring it down a bit. There. There we go. Yeah. <laughs> Sounds a little bit weird. <laughs> uh, reverb will make it better. Um, what else can we do? Um, change the speed. Let's change the speed. Make it really slow. See, um, it's just multiplying that by the current speed. So then it'll just be so like down here will be slower. Up here will be faster. It's pretty easy. Um, okay. Let's give it a listen if we put it right here. And then we'll have this one go like that or something. I mean, this is kind of, uh, I don't like it too much. But anyways, um, it's all right. Uh, so next, I'm just going to add the whistle like I uh, did before.
I actually like this better right here. So I'm going to take that and I'm just going to record some, uh, some silence. All right, that's great. Uh, delete that. Now I can just use that profile for this. Oh well. Um, so I'm actually going to decrease it a little bit and add the reverb and then I might actually um, change the pitch up a bit. There we go. Um, and I'm actually going to amplify it again up this time because uh, maybe not that much. Um, let's try 6.5. Sounds great. Um, so the next thing that I do, um, well, I'm just going to merge these all together just because I don't want to um, deal with it right now. So tracks, um, mixture render. Ta da! Now all the. Um... Ta da! Now all the um... zombies are together. And it sounds pretty intense. So, next thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to repeat whatever this is, uh, or whistling a few times. So, repeat. Um... And then I'm just going to go back up here and I'm going to repeat. But this is where it comes in handy to know how to fade out. And fade it. And fade out. And fade in. Because that way it actually sounds pretty good together. Um, I'm just going to fade in this. And if we actually just solo these. Yeah, it sounds pretty good. Um, so I'm actually just going to take that straight up. Um, tracks, mix render. Now we've got our whistle. Um, and we've got something to work in. Um, I'm actually just going to use from the sample again this uh, sort of um, music because it, it sounded pretty um, pretty intense. So I'm actually going to take that out and then I'm just going to fade that right there. Now, if I add a reverb to this, it makes it sound even better. See, it's already sounding really creepy. Um, now, yeah, you can add the screams if you'd like. Um, oh, yeah, the chimes, too. So let's add some chimes. Uh, they're really quiet, so what you have to do is you actually have to uh, amplify them quite a bit. Let's say maybe around 18 is probably good. Yeah, 18 is great. Um, I really like how they just like repeat right here, so I'm going to try to incorporate that somehow by fading that in. See, this is where you can get creative and you can just, you know, do your own thing. Sounds good. And then I'll just end it right there. Do a little bit of a fade. Add some reverb. Now it's golden. And then uh, last things last. Uh, it's just some screams.
It's pretty loud. Let's uh, turn it down a bit. That's the thing too. You want it. You want it to be sort of semi loud because you want it to freak out people, and you want it to be like bloody murder screams. You don't want it to be like ah that hurt. Like you want it to be like all out, and you can just add it anywhere. Um, so that's basically it. Uh, you can add whatever you want. You can add um, different things to make it sound spookier. Um, and I like how it ends with like the whistle too. So let's just take an overall look of it, of uh, what it sounds like. Yeah, it sounds great. Um, so next, you just pretty much save and export. So save it as something. Wow, that didn't spell right. Anyways, um, then to export the audio as like a WAV file or an MP3, I think you can do that. Um, you just go into your file, export audio, click it. Um, let's see, can you? Uh, I guess you can but I'm just gonna do the regular, uh, just wave file. I'm not sure, I think it's that one. Um, save it, okay, okay. Bam, you can close that. And now, we've got it there. And you play it pretty much, that's, that's simple, like 18 second track. I mean, you can repeat it, you can make it longer, you can make it shorter. Do whatever you need to. Uh, but it's great for making like things scarier, um, especially when like you're you're doing like a theater sort of project. I think that's all I have to say. Uh, it's a great thing to know how to do sound design. Uh, it's tremendous for like different uh, activities and different events. So I'll leave you there. I hope you learned something. This is Palioxis out. <laughs>